For less than 10 bucks, you can hop on one of these and see some of the best views in Spokane. It's a popular attraction in town, and it's why firefighters train here in case of an emergency. There's nowhere else you can go to get a view like this than on the sky ride. They said the best way to look at the falls is to go on this ride. So that's what we're doing. The 15 minute gondola ride takes riders face to face with the falls as it gradually descends 200 feet over Huntington Park. I'm not usually afraid of heights now, but I don't know about my friends. <laughs> The sky ride was built for the 1974 Expo. It used to get stuck and could sometimes overheat. Over the years, it's been upgraded, and to Andy Bessmer's knowledge, no one has ever been rescued from the gondolas. There's certain places along the route that we'd have to put a person on top of the cars to help rescue. It's why firefighters are getting harnessed in to practice how to get someone out of the ride if the system fails. Stop. Go up one of the towers and put a transition line there so that when they uh, rescuers climb up, they'll slide down the cable, they'll get on top of the car, they'll open up the doors, they'll put a rescue harness on the victim and we'll lower them down. There are 40 people on Spokane Fire's technical rescue team. They train in four specialized rescues, confined spaces, trenches, urban searches, and tower rope rescues like they did today. Lower with the doors broke loose, but closed like this, that gives them more protection. Carabiners lock, you get it? More than okay. 150,000 people on, ride the gondolas a year. Captain Bessmer says though they haven't had to rescue anyone, they'll continue training so they're prepared if they ever do. It gives riders peace of mind. They're up there, they're learning how to rescue people, how to get a car maybe unstuck, you know, whatever the problem is, they're practicing at least. While firefighters train year round, I'm told that they get hands on experience here at the Skyride once a year. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Tim Pham, Creme 2 News.